Hey, what's up Goal Guards? In today's video, we're going to be going over depth control and playing an in tight pass out to the front of the net. So knowing where our feet should be, how far out we should explode off the goal line, and how far is too far when coming out to challenge the angle. In this clip, you'll see our goaltender getting beat as the shooter drives in towards the net and lateral across the crease. The goaltender gets caught dropping back into the blue a little bit too quickly and gets caught giving the shooter plenty of time and space. He also gets caught leaning away from the puck. Very detrimental when you're looking for good weight distribution and rotation towards the puck. On this goal against, you can see him commit too soon to the shooter, drop a knee pad, and really that's all the opening the shooter needs to be able to go right around him and put it into the net. Our goalie starts to correct things here as he maintains a pretty good depth in the net and good positioning in line with the puck. Again, now he's matching speed as he backs up, waiting for the right moment to start his retreat, and then cutting across the net in line with the shooter laterally. Really good plays here as he begins to recognize that he does not need to back up quicker than the shooter or slower than the shooter. Rather, he needs to match that speed so that he can stay with the puck the entire way in. The rules for depth control and retreating really depend on the skill level of the goaltender that you're coaching. Beginner goaltenders and goaltenders that need to work on their skating ability, two to two and a half stick lengths away is a good rule of thumb to follow when it comes to making their retreat. Then as goalies get older and they are more comfortable with their skating ability, you can decrease that number to one to one and a half stick lengths away before they start their retreat on the shooter. You can watch one of those older goalies now with some pretty good depth control on the shooter as he waits it out and is really patient before he actually starts to drift back or even cut across the net. Here the goaltender makes a pretty nice save, but if you watch during his process backwards, you can see where he actually gives the shooter a lot of time and space, opening up that entire top shelf. A little more patience on this particular rep would have taken that upstairs away and made for a much easier save on the shooter and taken away his options as well. What I really like about this clip is the solid patience from our goaltender to stay composed at the top of the paint, not drift back, take the options away from the shooter, and drop down for a nice butterfly save. The rebound is a little bit ugly, but could be prevented with a more active hands coming into the chest to control it, but besides that, a very good first save. Another good representation here of nice lateral movement and patience on the shooter. For the most part, our second goalie has done a great job on his depth control. He's waited until that one to one and a half stick length away before starting his retreat. And more importantly, he's been very patient on his lateral movement across the paint with the shooter. In this next set of clips, we're going to be looking at a drill where the pass comes from the goal line or below, right out to a guy in front, and where the goalie should be in regards to the top of the paint, how aggressive should they be, and how patient do they need to be on their feet. When playing a pass off of the post like this, it's important to make sure that you're not going too far and that you're going far enough when it comes to the lateral movement across the crease. Equally important is the distance that you come off the goal line towards the top of the paint. On that goal against, the goaltender actually does a great job driving off the post to get to the top of the crease, but as you can see, his feet are still not set. So when he drops down, he's still drifting forward. When that happens, your weight is off balance and holes open up that the puck can find. Now look at the difference with this save. Our goaltender comes to a full stop, gets his feet planted, and makes a great save at the top of the paint and controls the rebound completely. It's also important to remember with passes from below the goal line or across the net to make sure that your head's on a swivel at all times so you know what adjustments you need to make when dropping down for the save. In the two clips that we just watched, which I'll play again, the goaltender does a great job of tracking the puck, knowing where the shooter is, and keeping his head on the swivel to know where he needs to push. The next clip shows the goaltender forgetting to keep his head on a swivel and then getting caught by surprise from the release from the shot in the slot. A simple look from the right post off to his left shoulder will help him track that puck and know where that shooter is a lot easier. I wanted to include this last clip to show the great save the goalie makes when he holds his feet and waits on the shot. 
By staying on his toes and holding his edges, he outweights the shooter and practices great patience here for the save. Even in today's butterfly style world, we should be trying to hold our feet as long as possible before that shot comes. By dropping down too soon or getting too low in your stance, you tell the shooter what you're gonna do and he's just gonna go high on you. Holding your feet takes away those holes and it allows you to outweigh the shooter and make the final say on the play. Goalies, coaches, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you picked up a few great tips here on holding your feet when coming off the post and tracking the puck across the front of the net, as well as learned a little bit about depth control and making sure that you're matching the shooter speed as you drift back into the net on a breakaway or on a lateral pass. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below and sauce me a follow over on Instagram and Facebook for more skills and drills videos, as well as subscribe on YouTube for more in-depth how to goalie coach drills. Make sure we're getting better every day. Keep your stick on the ice and I'll see you in the next video.